Welcome back, everybody, to the show. Uh, my dermatologist is here. I had no idea he was coming in. Dr. Bryce Desmond is on the show. He's from Alta View Hospital, and he is a dermatologist. And thank you for checking my moles very thoroughly. I sure my appreciate pleasure. it. But we're talking about kids today. And the changing weather, it feels like spring outside, and we have daylight saving time happening. Do you sunscreen now that that sun's out, and how much to use on babies and our toddlers? Yeah, absolutely. So sunscreen is something that I wear year-round. I think most people, you know, only wear it in the summer. But as the forecast, you know, it shows, I think the forecast over there shows sun, except for Saturday, which is snow. We'll try to ignore. And, um, you know, uh, there's two different main types of sunscreen, and you can see here in front of me, we have the chemical sunscreens and the physical sunscreens, which I have over here. Okay, so what are these? The chemical? So th these are chemical sunscreens, and they get a bad rap because they have chemical in their name. But all that means is that they're man-made. Um, they are absorbed into the skin, and then they absorb the UV energy from the sun and turn it to heat so your underlying skin cells don't get damaged. So these are great sunscreens. Uh, most kids, though, that have sensitive skin or teenagers with acne, you'd want to avoid these types of sunscreens that have chemicals in them. You'd want to use the physical sunscreens, which I have over here. I didn't know there was a difference. Does one work better than the other? So they both work equally well, depending on your circumstance. Um, the physical sunscreens, you're, you know the lifeguard with the white nose. Like the zinc. The zinc, mm -hmm. yeah. So 10 years ago, you know, you'd have that thick zinc paste, and you'd rub all over your skin, and people didn't like it. So um, different brands like Elta, I think this one's Neutrogena, mm -hmm. and my favorite, Vanacream, they've made micronized zinc particles. They're very small zinc particles, so you can rub them on and you don't get that white pasty film on your skin. And because these ones sit on top of your skin instead of within your skin, they reflect the sun's light and they don't cause as much allergy in kids with eczema. They don't cause acne in teenagers. So I like these ones. So Dr. Desmond, good for kids, uh, adults too? Should adults we lean too. that way? Yeah. Th these are the only ones that I wear, so that's what I like. Um, these aren't as convenient sometimes because they don't come in a spray because it's zinc. And that's it's what paste. all of us love, right? As parents, yeah. we want to grab that yeah. spray and go. Right. But not as maybe effective as these for your skin. Correct. Well, these just have less, I don't want to call them side effects, but mm. they're better tolerated okay. than most people. Well, yeah. I have a daughter with eczema, yeah. and I know so many people yeah. out there have sensitive skin. Under six months, can I use those if it's a baby? So the FDA recommends six months and under, probably shouldn't use any of these. You okay. should just use hats, shade, umbrellas, things like that. And six months and older? Mm -hmm. Yeah, six months and older, it's fair game. So yeah. when you go to Dr. Desmond's office, by the way, you leave with sunscreen. That's right. <laughs> we not talked on, but... Not on, but you leave it. You leave with it in your hand because sure. you, it's that, you think it's that important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the incidence of skin cancer is going up and up and up. And we've seen that in 2014, there was actually a study that showed five or more blistering sunburns before you're 20 years old increases your chance of melanoma by 80%. It's big. It's a big deal, especially and here in Utah. That's what I was going to ask you. In our state, do you see it more mm -hmm. than maybe other states? Yeah. Melanoma, we're always top 10 in melanoma incidence in all of the, the studies nationwide. So don't wait until June. Correct. To use yeah. the sunscreen. Right. Is March and don't wait until you're 25 and you have your first weird mold to start wearing sunscreen. Another couple things you can do, especially if you have kids, toddlers, everybody, cover them up outside. You say also limit bath and shower time. Why? Yeah, so... On a different note, just for sensitive skin and babies in general, mm. the more we wash them, the more of their natural oils are stripped away, and that's exactly what they need is more oil and more moisture. So oftentimes if you limit the bath and shower time, you'll really reduce the amount of dryness that your, your infants need. That you're dealing with, in. yes. Uh, moisturize too and use a humidifier. All these tips are so great. I know they put a lot on the website there at Intermountain Healthcare. Uh, you can check it out. If you take a peek at our screen and also go to our website, we'll link you intermountainhealthcare.org for more information. Dr. Desmond, thank you so much. I will be back in to check those moles awesome. again soon. Mm -hmm. Now speaking